Hi, my name is Dr. James Chestnut, and I am the developer of the Innate Choice uh, Supplement System. What I want to talk to you about in this segment is the importance of uh, vitamin D and the best source of that, which is um, a cod liver oil source. Like I have done, and like I always do when I'm teaching, whether it be doctors or patients or, who, or, or whoever I'm dealing with or educating at the time, I always like to, to start at the beginning and tell you about, first of all, there's no point talking about vitamin D, the importance of a vitamin D supplement until we know what vitamin D is and what it does for us in terms of, of producing health and protecting us from illness. Probably the most important thing to understand is that, that the idea of vitamin D and supplementation with vitamin D has been around in, in the human species for a long, long time. As we, there, vitamin, what is vitamin D? Vitamin D is really converted sunlight. That's probably the best way to do it. And the best way to be our source, the, the source of vitamin D is not a nutritional source. The, the, the ultimate source and, the, and the, 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 the source that human beings have always used to get their vitamin D uh, from the time we became human beings was sunlight. And as we moved away from the equator into areas of less and less sunlight, as we moved north and south away from the equator, we began to get less and less exposure to sunlight. And two things happened. The first thing that happened is we started to lighten the color of our skin. And the reason we did that was because we needed to allow more sunlight through because as we became deficient in vitamin D, we began to get very ill and die. We were not surviving. That's how important vitamin D is. A deficiency in vitamin D makes us very susceptible to, to uh, viruses and especially and, and also some bacteria. Uh, it's very highly uh, correlated to increased rates of cancer. So as, as we moved away from the equator, we began to discover that we were quite obviously quite sick. And then we began to supplement you eating the livers of animals and fish, uh, depending on what was available in your region, in order to get more, um, uh, more vitamin D. Gener what happens normally is that our skin, we have, we have uh, special receptors and special little, uh, I guess, little factories, I guess is the best way to put it, in our skin. And when sunlight hits that skin, we, con we convert um, an inactive form of vitamin D and we add sunlight and we get an active form of vitamin D. That's probably the best way to, d to describe it. Without sunlight, we can't do that. So in, so in other words, when we consume vitamin D, if we are going to be sufficient of vitamin D, we have to consume the type, the fully... Uh, the, the fully uh, developed, I guess, uh, type of vitamin D. We can't, we, we can build the precursor to vitamin D, but the actual vitamin D itself is essential. And again, essential means that we cannot produce it ourselves. We can produce all the steps up to the last step inside of our bodies, but we can't produce the last step. We have to consume that either by consuming sunlight through our skin, or we have to consume a fully developed source of vitamin D, uh, generally from liver. That's really where it gets concentrated in the bodies of animals and fish. So again, vitamin D is it's actually probably better described as a hormone than a vitamin, but it's very, very crucial in terms of our ability to produce proper immunity. Um, and maybe the best way to explain that is that in the, in, the winter, in the winter months, colds and flus are very, very predominant. Why? Because in the winter months, we get less sunlight, we have less vitamin D, and we're more susceptible to the common cold and the flus and other viruses. There's no question about it. And there is a lot, a, a huge body of research to show that people who are deficient in vitamin D are more susceptible to flus and colds, and they're also more susceptible to cancers and, and a plethora of other chronic illnesses, including heart disease, a lot of inflammatory illnesses. And those that, furthermore, those that supplement actually improve their immunity, have less colds and flus, less cancers, etc. So there's really not a lot of debate about the importance of vitamin D. The only importance, uh, pardon me, the only debate perhaps would be what is the the best source of vitamin D. And some people now are, are so... Uh, concerned about radiation from the sun that we're that, that that now people are saying that they don't want any sunlight I, I disagree with that I believe that healthy amounts of short short spans of sunlight are very important but one of the things to understand is once we've once we've established the fact that vitamin D is essential we can't produce it ourselves and we require it to uh, our genes require it as a raw material to genetically express health and protect us from illness we also have to now start to ask the question about where where are we going to get this vitamin D do we need to supplement with it and the answer is, we need to get it from sunlight or supplement. And sunlight's not really an option because in the industrial world, even if it's we live in a sunny climate, um, the chances are we don't go outside much. And if we do go outside, the chances are we're fairly well covered. And in order to get enough vitamin D conversion from the sun, you need to be virtually mostly uncovered and standing in the sun where, uh, you know, uh, the rule is, is that if your shadow is taller than you are, you're not getting enough direct sunlight. So that would be most of us, I'm sure, especially in North America. Um, so we're not getting, we need vitamin D, 
we're not getting enough, so we have to supplement with it. And if we don't supplement uh, with vitamin D and we don't have enough of it, the research is absolutely abundantly clear that we are going to suffer grave consequences because of that. And there's just no reason to do that. It's available. So who needs vitamin D? Everybody, every day for life. Where do we get it? Sunlight or supplementation? And uh, we're not getting it from sunlight, so clearly we need to supplement. Thank you.